got another question for the unusual organic mechanisms playlist so we're up to number six now hope you like the video and if you haven't already subscribed why don't you consider subscribing to the channel but as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first Okay, so make a start. So I've just drawn up the structure of the ester methylethanoate, um, just to make a couple of points. So we're told that it can be synthesized by reacting a haloalkane with a carboxylate ion. So the this methyl part in the ester, that's going to come from the haloalkane. So the one I'm going to use is chloromethane. So it can be any haloalkane as long as it's got a methyl group. So Chloromethane, bromomethane, iodomethane would all work. And the carboxylate ion is providing this part of the ester here. And there's only one option you can go for there. It's got to be an ethanoate ion. So moving on to the mechanism itself, we're told that it's nucleophilic substitution. So it involves um, the donation of an electron pair. Obviously, the ethanoate ion can do that. It's got a lone pair on that O minus part and it's going to donate that lone pair of electrons to this slightly positive carbon. Remember the carbon halogen bonds polar because chlorine is highly electronegative. So we show that by drawing a curly arrow from that lone pair on the O- minus to that carbon. So there's the product there and there's the bond, this new bond that's formed from this donation of this electron pair. Just need to quickly explain what's going to happen to this chlorine. I've done my usual thing, highlighting the carbon there in black. So that's its electron in the bond. The chlorine in green, that's its electron. So that pair of electrons is going to be repelled completely onto that chlorine. So the chlorine's effectively gained that black electron. It's become negatively charged. So we get a chloride ion there. 